Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking transform review because I love some freaking transformers. And with today, we'll be taking a look at Studio Series Concept Art Sunstreaker 111. This is from the Bonebee movie. Here he is. Very nice open window. I think they're going to change that with the new packaging. The nice artwork right there looks good. There you go. On the side, he is Deluxe Scale. Deluxe right there. All right. On the back, 19 steps to transform. There is in the alt mode and his bot mode. If you want to pause for the cause and read all that stuff, you are more than welcome to. All that stuff. Okay. On that side, nice Autobot symbol and nice artwork. There you go. And there you go. All right. Let's take a quick look at what Sunstricker comes with. All right. Yay. All right. First things first, as always, freaking instructions. And always pretty good with Hasbro. Nice big pictures. Easy to follow. Very nice. He gets two weapons, two guns, the same guns, and waffles. <laughs> Imagine that. But just gray plastic, little sculpt work in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. You get two of those, and you can actually tab them together and make a double double blaster so or quadruple blaster actually so that's cool and just like with every studio series you get this little backdrop very nice of cybertron you know because this is on the bubble wing movie so there you go we all right here is sunstreaker concept art sunstreaker from the bumblebee movie studio series i like it looks pretty cool nice little futuristic cybertronian vehicle Something new, something that we haven't seen before. And here is this painted yellow right here. For some reason, they cannot get the yellow straight. Um, it's not as bad as Earthrise. Earthrise had like three or four different yellows, but this is a little brighter. You can tell it's not terrible, not terrible at all, uh, over the translucent blue. Now, you can see right through, uh, but it's all bluish right there and bluish right there. So that's pretty cool, but it's yellow. Nicely painted with the red, you know, the Autobot symbol. Looks good. In the front, you got this nice uh, orange. You got gray and then blue. And gunmetal silver right there for the lights and everything for the front. Looks good. I like that. Then you got these like translucent blue wheels, which really cool. They spin, um, you know, like that. It's like translucent blue plastic right there and everything, but kind of looks like fans. Um, I hate the mushroom peg, but at least they got all four of them are mushroom pegs. That's good. At least they didn't do two different ones like in the back and the front. So that's cool, but I still don't like the mushroom pegs, but looks good. Got a five millimeter port right there. All right, and you got some nice uh, gray paint right here. Orange back here. Would have been cool if they would have put some orange right here or something like that. Maybe some red for the tail lights. A lot of yellow plastic. There you go. Underneath, there you go. It rolls just fine. Basically, this is gliding because this is smooth surface, but it does roll pretty good. So I like that. So very nice. Looks good. And you can take the weapons. And like I said, you can combine them just like I showed you. Two little slots right there. And you just tab them in right there. And there you go. And you can also take them off and you can split them. And once again, you have these little ports. You can put them right there and right here. So there you go. That's cool. And I think you might could use um, blast effects for them. So that's cool. I'll take some pictures. But there you go. That is Sunstreaker in his alt mode. I like it. Looks pretty cool. Something new. I like it. As always, Wheelie, you got Magic Square, um, Magic Square Prowl, you got uh, Prime from New Age, you got Red Alert, and then Dustbuster Jazz for some scale. <laughs>
All right, back from transformation, and here is Sunstreaker. He looks okay. I like the car mode better, um, but he's not terrible. I did like the head sculpt. Looks very nice. Got the you know ears that he always have, nicely painted yellow. He got some silver, and I'm guessing that it looks like blue because it kind of blends in with the gray plastic. So you really kind of like like dead eyes. But you know, silver right there looks good. As far as articulation for that, if you can look down, not much, a little bit. You looked up a little bit, but you can also that doesn't tab anything. So if you want to lift it up a little bit you can get some more that way you can go all the way around and give you a little attitude it's on a ball peg and this little hinge right here so there you go all right once again the yellow chest very nice got the nice translucent blue right there make sure you tab the sides in right here and that's good you got a little silver right there the gray is a little orange you've seen that he does have some 80s women working shoulder pads uh, they are on a hinge so you can move those out but you know you can get that but you kind of cover <laughs> cover his face like that because if you don't you can't get very much at all because you're going to rub into him sorry so you can get up to that so kind of have to you know open that up a little bit just to get that so that's kind of weird i don't know i don't like the shoulder pads that well uh you can go all the way around that's nice uh you got about 90 degrees for the elbow bend a bicep swivel nothing for the hand everything and then you got these little side panel things eh, you know kind of stick out like a sore thumb uh you do have a white swivel I like the little nice little silver part right there. Gray right there looks pretty good. Uh, no ab crunch or anything like that. Um, Van Dam all day, every day. You got this orange right here. Looks good. I like that. Um, kick up about right there. And kick back all the way. You do have a thigh swivel. Waffles right there. Uh, waffles under here. Golly. Somebody might make a three, you know, like a waffle um, filler thing, whatever. I uh, got a, about less than 90 degrees, almost. I give it to him a little bit, but, you know, right there. But I like, I like the neat bend. Got that little, art, you know, sculpt work in there. That's really good. I like this right here, the orange and the silver. That looks good. I like that. And they put silver on the feet. That is nice. So it kind of breaks up that and everything. Uh, you got a toe tilt up. You got a little down. And you got a nice little rocker. And you do have five millimeter ports under there. So you can, you know, Tab in some stuff right there. You can build some uh, um, armorators or well, armor armorizers or whatever. You can put stuff in there. That'd be pretty cool. Because you do got some, you, know, you got a five millimeter part back there. And you got two back here. And that's nice. So here's the back right here. Looks good. I like the skull park in there. Wouldn't be cool if they painted that. That would be nice. But I like the wheels. Like I said, that translucent blue kind of looks like a little fan. Looks good. So there you go. All right. As far as the weapons, you can store them on the back. You can put them together and you can. Put them on the back like that. You can carry it like that. Or, you know, you can take them apart and they can, you know, hold in his hand. So that is a cool little feature, I guess. Or you can put one, um, you can put them, I don't know if you, very, no, I don't think there's enough room to even put them in there. So you may have to put something else there. So anyways, but yeah, there you go. That is Sunstreaker. And all right, so there's Concept Art Megatron. You got uh, Siege uh, Prime, Sideswipe, and uh, Ironhide. You got Brawn, Core Class Wheelie, and then Tits McGee Red Guard back there for some scale. And Crapagonics, Crappy Toilet Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you have made it this far, I appreciate that. I really do. So, uh, final thoughts on Concept Art uh, Bumblebee Movie Sunstreaker. Uh, this is from Studio Series. Overall, he's fine. Um, I love the car mode, how he is and everything. I like that. It looks good. It's a new mold. I uh, like the futuristic Cybertronian thing going on. So I really like that. Uh, Transformation is easy and fun. I liked it. In a uh, bot mode, it was fine. I, I like the sculpt of it. I like the head sculpt. I don't like the shoulder pads. That's one of the biggest gripes I have with it. That, you know, really hinders the articulation. Uh, just, you know, those 80, 80s women working shoulder pads just really just get in the way. Kind of wish on the, on the hinge, you know, where you can move it up, you know, uh, up and down. I kind of wish you could have hinged down a little further so you can, you know, get some better movement with the arms or shoulders and stuff. That would have been really ideal. But other than that, the articulation is decent. You know, I just said the shoulder pads really get in the way. Um, the paint wise, you know, I said, you know, you got that yellow. I said it's not as bad as the Earthrise one. You know, like I said, it had like three different yellows on him. Uh, this one's not that bad. It, it doesn't really stand out a whole lot. Just this little area right there. Um, I do like the translucent blue and everything, especially for the wheels in the car mode. That looks really cool. Kind of looks like it, you know, just glides across. That's really nice. Uh, but the paint, pretty good. You know, you got some decent, you know, gun metal. You got gray, blue, and stuff. And this orange right here 
Wish they could have used some more orange. That would have been pretty cool, but I liked it. Um, the weapons are pretty cool. I like those. That's, you know, I just, you know, the shoulder pads get in the way. Uh, but I do like the weapons. Kind of wish the, they could use blast effects, but that's not a big deal or anything like that. Materials feel good. You know, I felt, you know, I didn't think it was going to break anything, just like usually with Hasbro. Really good. You know, most stuff are ball joints, so you can pop it back on and everything. It does have some waffles. Not a whole lot, just under the, the arms and the little back and the legs. So somebody will probably make a kit for that. And, um, yeah, like I said, the sculpt looks pretty good, you know, other than the shoulder pads. Overall, not terrible, you know, not great, you know. I don't, it's fine. Like I said, they'll do a side swap. You know, they'll definitely do a side swap and, um, you know, do some repaints for that and everything. So just expecting that. But, yeah, it'd be cool. I really like what they're doing. You know, the Megatron's pretty good. You know, the Rumble Frenzy, I'm sure, that you know, they're going to do the red one, uh, whichever you want to call them. Uh, they're doing him. I wonder who they're, if they're doing some more uh, concept art from the Bone Boom movie. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Who would you like to see? Um, I mean, I like to do a Warpath maybe or something like that or some, you know, just different guys. I think it'd be pretty cool if they did some more of these. Uh, I really like them. So, um, um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. I like it. All right. Boom. Pooper Scooper. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. Boom, boom. Yeah. Boom. Man, that's very bad. Man, remember when I was a kid? You just like to go around and, man, just play on the floor. Just zoom, zoom, zoom with the car and just hit the babies and everything, hit all that stuff and everything. Man, I miss my childhood, man. It's been so long. I'm so old. Golly. Anyways, hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. Anybody get this guy? What do you, if you already have him, what do y'all think of him? And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers. Hell freaking Sunstreaker. And uh, good night, folks. Yeah, floor time. You gotta love it.